guys, welcome back. It is your favorite game on the left, and I am back with some more Assault Red, or no, Assault Sicily 43, not Red Horizon. I keep wanting to say Red Horizon. We're going to jump right back into the game where we left off. We left off with the Italians right around over, yeah, they had moved up into positions. So it means it's turn for the Americans to activate. Now, I did go ahead and move back the 75 mil field gun a little bit because I realized I was going to make a mistake otherwise in the fact that if I start moving these guys forward, they can't fire on him yet. He's not actually in that position. He doesn't get into that position until later on. So we don't have to worry about uh, him actually being there just yet. But later we're going to have to worry about that. Now, wait, no, it wasn't the Americans, was it? Who have I activated? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's the Italians. The Italians get to go because the Americans done three. You know, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so it is the Italians. Okay, so we're going to the Italians. What are they going to do? I think we should get some shots off, maybe, with some machine guns. Just try to weaken down some of the troops a little bit. Got my trusty little laser here now so I can get some sight lines. Let's see, we got a position here. Oh crap, and I forgot to grab those counters. I need to grab them. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it yet since I already got all my filming stuff started, but uh, the rifles 43 should be Rangers. Like I said, I'm still using the right card, so I've got the right stats for them, but I still haven't pulled up the, the Rangers counters. Ah, it's not that big of a deal, but we got Rangers, not, uh, not rifles, not regular rifles. Maybe we do our shot with our machine gun here. Let's see, where did I put my order markers? Do I have one? No, I do not have one on them. So I've got one on the LMG, two on the Renault, Renault, not the Renault as I called it there. So each one of these tanks already have uh, order markers. And then one of these LMG squads has markers and two of the rifles. Why did I put two on rifles? Is it for the guys that I moved up? Yeah, it's for those guys that moved up in those positions. So maybe we burn one on this machine gun over here, have him fire down, probably against these rifles over here, since they are in a victory point hex, and go ahead and uh, get them out of there, right? You know, try to push them back a little bit, maybe, because they do need to do that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna burn a action point on these fellas here. They are going to fire their machine guns at a range of probably max range. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, just, just within this range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, just within medium range. So they get a red, a yellow, and I think a green and a green. Ooh, those machine guns hauled, hauled. All right. The Rangers get a blue for beaten hardened. They are going to get a yellow for their inherent and then whatever they get for a building. And plain buildings are, ooh, infantry is pretty good. Two yellows and a blue on them. And then they have to roll to spot because they have not spotted them yet. Spotting rules are a little different in every one of the games. You guys have to forgive me if I make a mistake here or there. I should not have had it to where I had two Hex Encounter tactical games going at the same time that I'm filming for, uh, Lock and Low Tactical, and then this one, because I'm going to mix up some of the rules, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, let's roll for their spotting. No, uh, they definitely spot. For there, they're just looking for two rope. Actually, I can just leave this over. All right, so that shouldn't be anything else. It's not going through any uh, other degrading terrain or anything like that, so that should be it. Yeah, should be it. They've pretty decent odds there. All right, so for their attack, what are they going to get? Three hits. That's actually, that's pretty decent. Pretty decent, three attacks. All right, what do the Americans get? Oh, they blocked the hell out of that. Now, these two X's, these are suppressions, right? That counts as suppression. But remember with this game, if I had not mentioned it before, there's suppression, then there's hit, and then there's critical, okay? And critical's best, then hit, then suppression. So a critical can cancel out anything. 
a hit can cancel out a hit or suppression, and suppression can only cancel out suppression. So rock, paper, scissors, kind of in a way. In essence, this actually is enough for the Americans to cancel out everything that they did uh, since it's a, a countered role. So defense, you want to try to get overwhelming defense dice because just a couple of blank ones can really put you in a bad spot. All right, now what are we going to do? And what are we going to do? Ooh, actually, I do need to make sure and look at the back of these cards just to make sure if they've got any special stuff. These guys are just slow, so they can't do fast actions. But some like that Lancia over here has uh, special bonuses because it's so tall when it's being attacked. Uh, snipers, for an example, they get to take away the strongest defense die, I believe, from a opponent that they are shooting at. So that is something as well. All right. What are the Americans going to do? One of the key things, like I said, I wanted to get my guns in the right place. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the thing that I was waiting on. I'm going to fire on this LMG squad up here. That's what we're going to use our 75 mil gun for. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 75 mil guns firing at, they get max range. Damn, that sucks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, one hex away from absolute max range. That is unfortunate. And if he were closer, he could get some explosive uh, going on as well, but he's not close enough in to do that. All right, so he's doing a direct fire. That is two yellow a green and a blue for his attack. And he's firing on this LMG squad. LMG is going to get the yellow inherent and then whatever they get for forested terrain. Is that heavy force or light force? I think that's heavy. I can't tell. Oh, I hate it when you can't tell if it's heavy or light. It looks heavy-ish. Actually, no, that looks like light. Yeah, looking at this little picture, the little picture of the the light forest matches with this. So I'm going to call it light forest. Heavy forest has a hex that has like uh, five, six trees in it. Light has just like three trees. So we're going to call that light forest. Light forest only gives them a yellow and a green, which they're already right there at it. But now we have to spot again, spot these fools. No one. Okay, we spotted them. Yay. So we do get to do our attack and there is no intervening uh, terrain against them. Had we not spotted them, there would be, what would they get? Uh, just firing. They would get an extra green die, extra green if they had not been spotted. All right, come on, big money. Oh yes, yes, yes. I sound like the damn uh, uh, Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. All right, got the firing off, and we have caused some damage. Let me grab my counter before I forget. All right, some explosive BS hitting these fools. They have got to roll at least one double to not take some plinkage. Oh, oh. <laughs> got them. Yes. All right. Uh, that suppression means nothing. They are canceling out a single hit. So they are getting hit with a critical and three hits. And I think that's enough to just kill them outright. Uh, what's their health? Yeah. They've got four health total. And I think, yeah, one, two, three, four. And then rolling to see what critical they would get. They're, they're just dead. They're just outright blatted off the face of the planet. Yes, that's perfect. Damn. Those 75 mil guns will do some work. They will do some work. All right. They have lost five points worth that are going up on that troop management board. That is beautiful. That will bring them back into a bad position. Sweet. All right. Americans blatted them. They needed those uh, LMGs to actually do some work for them uh, to slow down the Americans. But now here's where things are going to start to probably get worse for the Americans. Okay, we got the Renaults, and all right, dude who uh, is teach me how to pronounce things. How do you pronounce this thing? The Semavante, Semavante, all right, am I in the ballpark? 
let me know because I'm I'm probably not. All right, we got him too, and he can move up. Firing at this one would be hard. The 50 cal machine gun can fire at armored vehicles, but only at close ranges. He has to be within three hexes to even get a die against them. So they're not doing too much. That's what I was saying over here. It's all perfect for the Italians because they they can just move right up on this infantry and there's really nothing except the bazooka, the 50 cal and the 75 mil gun. The bazooka can actually do damage to them. But again, it's only up to two hexes, right? Where's the bazooka card? Yeah, two hexes. I mean, it's great damage. But two hexes, so he has to get really close. Uh, they're not going to be able to do that for a little while. 50 cal machine gun gets one extra hex, but again, it's nothing. And that's only going to do well against light armor. So we can start moving these guys forward. Oh, they're, they're really not that good. They're slow. Oh, that might mean that they don't get to do any... Can't use a fast action, but we can use a move and fire with them. We can use a move and fire. Try to cause some damage. All right. Let's go with one of the Reynos first. We're going to move him forward. One hex. And he is going to do a move and fire. Fire and move. He's not doing a turret move. He's just doing a move and fire. Firing straight ahead. And he is going to target the snipers. Because that is that's kind of crucial. Firing with a sniper, you get to remove dice so he can do a lot of damage to infantry. He is firing, and he's going to be at the 6x range. Raynaud doesn't have great stuff, great uh, stats, but they've got pretty good stats. So he's getting a yellow, a green, and a blue for his attack. The Samvante thing, it has even better dice. Gets into the red dice against infantry. All right, so decent attack but we got a roll spot against them let's see if we spot them first before we figure out oh, it's close thought i saw that one coming all right so they do spot going against them and no, that's not going to give them a blocked because this is going to the left on that not blocked but uh hindered that's not going to be hindering so Damn, sniper. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're hidden. They're hidden. They can't automatic never spot it. Uh, never applies. Can only be spotted when it's marked with a fired status marker or has done a fast action. Ooh. So if they fire at them, they automatically get the hidden stat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But you know what? We're going to take the shot anyway. Because these guys are already hidden anyway, so regardless, the, the tank's getting a bonus, or the, the defense is getting a bonus against them. So what is that, a green die? Ooh, he gets a red die. He gets a red defensive die. That's why he's so damn uh, tanky. All right, so he's getting that. He's getting this from, from being hardened, that from inherent, that from not being able to spot and and whatever terrain he's in whatever terrain he is in which is a hard building i should have checked that while i had that, that terrain ate out oh oh this is oh god i should have looked before i chose to fight i'm gonna go ahead and continue with this uh because damn but yeah this is a large building which means he's getting another red, two greens, and another another blue. Look at that shit. This, that is his defensive role. That's his defensive role against uh, these three basic die. Damn. I mean, the, the tank still has a chance. Tank still has a chance, but not a great one. Definitely not a great one. He got two hits. Uh, two hits on the die. Uh, there we go. We'll just leave it like that. All right. No whiffy. No whiffy. Yeah. Blocked the hell out of it, which, yeah, knew that was coming. 
because there was just there's too much there. Good grief. That sniper is in it for the haul, man. He is in it. He ain't going nowhere with all that type of defense. Okay. That's the action with the tanks. But here's the thing, right? It doesn't really matter because those snipers can't do squat. Even at point blank range means in the hex with them doing close combat, snipers only get a blue die against armored vehicles. So they can't do squat against them. A tank can just roll on through and just squish him. Just squish him. However, now we got to figure out what we're doing with the Americans. And I think... Maybe I go ahead and plank him with a sniper. Let the sniper fire back. But if I, is that, is that blocking terrain? That's all of, um, line of sight. So passing through there, they would get that. And I think he gets another die for having a vehicle in his line of sight. All right, but yeah, uh, we're going to fire with the sniper and I, I looked, I couldn't find it, but I swear there's something for firing through the, the thing. We're going to count this as hindered anyway, because he's going through that orchard. So he's getting a fair amount of hindrances. You can have up to two hindrances to your line of sight and still be able to fire. They are cumulative, but if you have three, it's considered blocking. So eh, not able to get the shots off Where it is for the terrain. Ooh, okay, so he's in light woods. I'm gonna figure that out. And orchard, yellow and green. And adding a green to him. And he has the yellow. And I think that's it. I think that is it, but I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. All right, so that's not him, it's just just through the orchard and it's through the vehicle. I swear those give some type of hindrance, but I can't find it. So I could be, could be wrong, on it. but that's all right. I'll tell you what, since I think it's supposed to do something to them, we will ignore uh, the thing because I can't figure out which dice it is, but the sniper, the defender loses their strongest defense die. So I'm basically going to let him stay at this because I feel like he's supposed to have another bonus that I'm missing and I'm supposed to take away one bonus so we're going to call that a wipe because the sniper gets the target. He's firing at the LMG back here. We do have to attempt to spot real quick. Anything but the one. Got the two so we're good. We do get to spot him. So yeah we'll just go with that. And the sniper has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> really? That's it? That's all he gets to roll? Wow, that's, whoa. I was thinking he'd get better attack roll than that. Damn, okay, this is kind of a waste. <laughs> Not gonna be able to do squat there. One hit, <laughs> one hit, all right. <laughs> Nothing, low scoring roll, yeah. Damn, it's close, that yellow, that yellow saved him. Oh well, nothing there. I gotta figure out something else to do with those snipers. <sighs> I, I could be wrong, I think I was supposed to remove one of those yellow dice, but we'll we'll worry about that later. I'll I'll check it off screen when I got a little more time. All right, so that's his activation. We've got four activations left for for the bad guys over here. Well, I'll tell you what, we got one of the LMGs. We definitely got to go ahead and fire with them because they're going to potentially die. I mean, one got blatted right off the board. Good thing I didn't put two. Uh, command tokens. Oh, speaking of which, I got to take away a command token since they lost a unit. They lost a unit, so they lost a command point as well as getting those points added to them. But you can take that from command points you've already used. So units I've already activated, I can take that command point away from there so they don't lose one that they're getting ready to activate. We'll activate these fellas, have them conduct a fire action since we know we wanted to do, I wanted to shoot these machine guns, but we'll shoot this one instead. And you know what? Let's, let's take the shot at the, at the sniper. We'll try to get him. I know it's, it's a long shot, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's one hex. I thought he was going to be within six. Oh, damn. I want to take this back, but I can't. I can't take that back. 
that's his attack die. I thought it was going to be a three dice, including a red, but that's that's it. <laughs> and then Sniper's going to have. I know that for not being spotted. And what was it for the multi story or multi thing? Oh, yeah. A red, two greens, and a blue. And the blue from being that, or from being hardened, and the yellow from the inherent defense dice. So, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken that shot. One hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he did it. We got to get that sniper dug out. Tanks move forward. They're not going to be able to just take the beating from the tanks. All right, so we activate the LMGs. We got another activation coming with the Americans. What can I do? Maybe, maybe I, I got the 50 cals. And they can go one, two, three, four against these fellas and maybe do some large damage against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so that gives them two reds and a yellow. 50 cal machine gun against infantry within four hexes. Definitely going to do that. They're spotted because they got a fast action, so don't even have to worry about that. And it's a light building hex, which is going to be two yellows and a blue, plus their inherent yellow. And that should be all they're getting. So there's a good chance we can actually get some damage done with these machine guns. Actually, let me make sure that fast action doesn't give them an extra defense. Nope, didn't see any. There are some that will, uh, uh, other ones that will affect, like being dug in or this hidden one, but not the fast action. So let's fire with the machine gun. Whoa, not great. Crit, two hits and a suppression. Their defense is four hits, so they will take one critical hit. So that's going to be a damage, plus we roll to see what the crit is. So that's this one plank. It's a little something. It's better than nothing. But I got to figure out what the criticals are on here. Okay. Yep, for each critical hit that remains after the defensive roll, the attacking player is given a green and defender gets a blue. All right, so here's the defender and the attacker gets the green and it's a contested roll again. All right, so depending on what you get here or defend against will determine what action is gonna happen. So, blank, nothing. But had the attackers got a critical hit, that would have caused the infantry or artillery to fall back. It would this would eliminate an artillery unit, infantry unit would uh, perform an, a fallback. If it was a damage point that was uncanceled, you would mark it as suppressed. And if it was a suppressed before the critical hit, it would perform a fallback. And if it was suppressed, uh, same procedure as if the attacker's strongest symbol was a damage point, see above. So basically you can either suppress them or cause them to fall back if you get a hit on them. Sadly, I did not, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. All right, let's 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 finish strong. I got, what, just a, a few more attack points left uh, to do. Let's see. The Americans have three, the Italians have three, the Italians have three. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's move the Samante, Samante, Tell me how to say it. Forward by one. He's going to do a fire and move as well. Try to get some hurt going on these guys. And he's a tank destroyer, so it's definitely a, a fire and move, not a turret move. There is a difference on that. He's going to target these infantry because firing on those snipers is almost impossible. So they, they're they hidden. So they're naturally going to get that. And I think that changes something else as far as spotting because they're not spotted. Oh yeah, the spotting roll uh, gets a minus one. So there's a double chance that he won't be spotted, but he is still spotted. So he is just getting the extra blue defense. Gets the blue from the Harden, yellow from him. And in the large building, oh God, that large building just gives massive defense. Two greens and another blue, right? Yeah. God, the defense just keep adding up. 
But one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's one hex out. He almost has two reds. Death to him. All right, that's his attack die. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what the tank destroyer gets. Four hits, yes. Okay, he might actually cause some hurt. No crit, but four hits. Oh, oh, they block only two of them. Oh, those poor guys. They are taken down to half. I don't even have to add damage tokens because they just got flipped over. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a big hit on those fools. That was a big hit. That tank destroyer is going to be able to put some hurt on them. And still, this is what I'm talking about. The, the vehicles that are pushing up on the side until... Not not the next turn, but the turn after uh, until that 75 mil. God, I put him in the wrong spot. Maybe I should have just gone with the indirect fire and hope for the best. Because as it is, they are not going to get direct fire assets in position to do anything against this incoming uh, armor until the third turn. And what that means is these guys, there's the Reno, Reno is still going to move forward here. So they're all three moving forward by one hex firing, moving forward by one hex firing again. And then that third turn, he gets a chance to fire directly, but it's only against one of them. So I have got to, got to start uh, using this 75 mil over here to put some indirect fire on them. Uh, no choice to put it elsewhere. I mean, it did such a great job. One shot blatted that LMG right off the board, and I would love to use him to do that against others, but I'm wasting that effort against infantry when all the American infantry over here, they can fire at this infantry, but they cannot fire at those things. That's the only way I can do it. The, the Italians, they'll get stomped by having their infantry try to cross this field. Uh, if it was just the infantry battle, the Italians don't really stand a chance. But that armor makes a difference. I'm almost thinking that I made a mistake switching out and giving them that big gun. I just so badly wanted to use that unit because the it has such a uh, awesome gun, but it doesn't have much of armor. It could actually be penetrated by that 50 cal if it moved up. If it doesn't, though, they still don't have anything. It can stay back from a distance. The Americans are going to have to pull out with this uh, Sherman tank over here and come over this way and directly engage the Italian assets, armored assets that are right here. Because otherwise they can just roll up and get just out of the American range and blow, blow them all away. If they focus fire this 75 mil and take it out, the Americans will have to fall back, at which point the Italians can move forward and pretty much just ride right through them. So they can't fall back. They've got to stay in their grounds and, and hope for the best. And there's no reason for them to go through here because there's a tank uh, trap right there that'll block them from coming through. Plus two mines. That was a dumb place to put the mines. I should have put the mines right here. Blocking them off from being able to drive up against them. Ugh. We'll have to see how this how this plays out. It's really going to depend if they can take out that 75 mil gun or not. All right. But anyway, we're going to cut the video here. You guys stay tuned. Uh, this one is getting very interesting. Lots of heavy fire going back and forth on each side, and it is yet to be determined. It's, it's all about this armored section over here on how they do pushing forward that's going to decide the fate of this game. All right. Y'all take care. I'll catch you in the next one.